back at it again y'all here it is about to put some brakes on a 2007 jeep liberty sport this is what i do i got the master loader out here easy transport check that out dope toolbox ain't it yep so let's get into it these are the tools Got my impact sockets. Got the DeWalt. It's missing the uh, the ratchet in there. But there's the impact gun. Craftsman. That's 200 and something dollars, y'all. Straight up. All right, holla at your boy. Let's get it. All right, so we're changing the brakes. We're taking the caliber bolts off. You're going to use a 12 millimeter socket on a uh, 2007 Jeep Liberty and we're taking off the front passenger side. Lefty loosey, righty tighty. Let's dig into it, y'all. All right. All right, it's good to have a wrench on this side to hold that whenever you tighten it up. That way, the, the, the stretchy burple thing, that's what I call it. Uh, sits right. So this is a 12 millimeter socket and this is the octagon 12 millimeter head on that. Alright, so I'm gonna get the bottom off and we're gonna jump right into this and just knock this front out. And I'm putting rotors on by the way and brakes. You can hand spin them off once you break them free depending on what car you're doing. So, that's off. Now, I'm gonna hit this. And this should come right off. It should, but if it don't, like this, a little hammer. Then, slide that right off. It pays to have some brake cleaner if you got it, but I don't have any. So now I'm gonna take these pads off. Pads did wear on the inside because there was no um, new rotor on it. See, it put teeth in the brake pads, so these gotta come off anyway. They should have a sensor, but these pads obviously ain't got a sensor on them. I just changed these brakes, so look at that. So this pad is good on the outside, but the inside, no. The rotor is bad on the inside. So, um, this is the caliber. I'm gonna have to push this caliber back. I need a C-clamp. Um, I need my C-clamp. All right, let me get back here for a second. And I'll be right back. All right, YouTube, so here it is. We're taking off the caliber bracket. You gotta get a um 13 16 socket all right i got the craftsman big boy ratchet it's the big one when i say the big one it's not that small standard size so pow put that right in there put it right back on these bolts but i'm gonna tell you the trick to get these bolts off because they are on real tight get yourself a breaker bar put your socket on there and then get you a leverage bar that comes off of your jack you slide that on there and then you pick up on that and it'll give you leverage to take off those bolts that are under pressure. So let's go ahead and take this off. Lefty Lucy, righty tighty, already broke them free. So that bolts out. Now, once I get these bolts out, I'm gonna tell y'all what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna hit it with some WD-40 keep these bolts real nice this is the you want to make sure you put the bolts back in where they came from so top this is bottom that next one to be the top one all i'm gonna do is hit it with some oil on the bolts bow bow all right there you go so top i'll keep the top over there and take the bottom out and i'm gonna hurry up and get this job done because <clears throat> i have both sides to do and the rear brakes You could hand spin this off.
Um, I like to use my bare hands, but I just want to get the Pittsburgh Steelers dirty. See what I'm saying? See that? So you spray this side. And then, boom, you got it. So that's the top bolt, bottom bolt. They're the same, but you want to make sure you keep them where you took them off at. So this is your bracket. And the screws, reason why it was so tough is because they go right in here. See that? So what I'm going to do is oil these. Wow. Ain't nothing but a thing. Now I'll show y'all in a second putting the uh, rotor on. All right, so now I'm about to put the rotor on. Here we go. Um, let me let this down. Um, can't do that. You can't do that, Trey 57. You have to um, keep this winched up. Yeah, I got a winch. All right, Charles, I took the gloves off. You want to make sure your caliper is hung up so you don't ruin it. Now, one thing I am going to do real quick, I didn't buy brake cleaner, but I will spray in here because I'm gonna push the caliper back. So I'm gonna do that real quick. That way I can knock out two birds with one stone. So you're gonna take this, you're gonna put this right in here. You're gonna put it on the back side of the caliper, but you wanna make sure it ain't touching no bolts. All right. Now the fun part, winding this goofy thing through here. All right, so look, this is it y'all. Anybody could do this, take your time. Once again, make sure the caliber ain't touching nothing with a screw, you make not, make sure no nothing leak. So you're gonna push this back slow and it should go straight back, easy. You'll watch that piston go back. See that y'all, look at that. Straight back. Common sense tell you when to stop, you won't be able to turn no more. But you want to keep going till it's all the way in there. That's far enough. Now, what I'm gonna do is take this off. All right, there you go. Now we are going to take off the rotor and put on this new baby. I can't wait. Y'all, look at this. This is terrible. Come on now. This is crazy. Like, who rides around with this? Uh, the person that I'm uh, doing this for, they're going to pay me well. Look at this. That's bad. This is what eats your brakes up. So this is the back side. This is the front. The front wasn't that bad, you know. Um, but this right here, pff, that's suicide. So I'm a scrap, though. That's worth money. Here's a brand new one. We ain't going to hesitate. Let's get this thing going here. Wow. Look at that metal. I love polished steel. When you're working on a car, stay protected. David Woody, what up, bro? Big shots out to Diaz TV. Uh, little sin, well, mask down sin. And uh, wait a minute, that one character, he changed his name. Indigo Jaden. But what is the, somebody in the background, tell me what his name is. Say it again. Oh, that's uh, Little Dog. What's his name? Peso. Peso? Big shots out to Peso, follow Peso, y'all. Let's get this rotor on. 
that's a new set of rotors. This is beautiful. I love it. Let's go ahead and slap this puppy on and we can go ahead and put these brakes on. So let's get this back around here, but make sure we put it on right and try to get killed. Um, all right. So this is going to go back here like this. People get stuff out of the way. There you go. Now watch this top first straight in that's the top and then I'm going to go ahead and slap the bottom in I know my head is in the way lefty loosey righty tighty but for some reason I can't see straight so here it is that's lefty so that is the caliber on, and all I'm gonna do is tighten them up, and then y'all see the finished product afterward. Bow. What's good? There it is. They got a new one, y'all. It's on, rotor on. All right, job well done. Bow, the caliber bracket is back on. I'm about to slap these new pads on this right here. Um, y'all ain't gotta see me do the pads. I don't wanna make this video long. Y'all know I know how to do the pads, but these are the new pads, one front, one back. Brand new rotor, long overdue. Let's get it. Comment, subscribe, give this video a thumbs up. 2007 Jeep Liberty Sport. Let's get it. Brand new rotors.